It's right around 25 miles per hour. This is exactly what we talked about yesterday as expected, and we'll get a bit of a break from it tomorrow. But another punch of wind coming on Saturday, so we're settling into this breezier weather pattern for the time being. Uh, temperatures feeling good though. Our highs today, a lot closer to the seasonal average after such a cool start to the week. Right now we're in the mid to upper 70s across the Las Vegas Valley, running quite a bit warmer than this time yesterday. We're talking about 10 degrees, so it feels fantastic. Even with that wind that's picking back up, looking at your evening planner, a partly cloudy sky, it's just the thin, wispy high cloud cover we've seen for most of the day. That should clear overnight into tomorrow morning. And temperatures remain comfortable through dinner time in the 70s, but the wind it doesn't really let up. Even approaching midnight tonight, those gusts hang out right around the 30 mile per hour mark. It's not necessarily impactful wind, but probably a nuisance of breeze, and it will contribute to the cool feel once our sun sets tonight. Tomorrow we do get a brief break from the wind, but the real gusty conditions that we expect for really the next week. The gustiest day will arrive on Saturday that with our next weather system that will be dry by the time it gets here. So the only impact will be wind, but 40 mile per hour gusts. Uh, that means business. The potential for a wind advisory is something that we're watching closely heading into the weekend. I want to time this out for you so you know peak gusts on Saturday. This is Las Vegas. These are sustained wind again, gusts closer to 40 miles per hour and the morning starts mostly calm, but it's after lunch hour that you'll start to feel those gust speeds intensify a little bit, but it moves on quickly. Once the system's out of here after sunset on Saturday night, our wind speed calms and it's much quieter for Easter Sunday, which is good news. Timing is similar for the Colorado River Valley, but gust speeds are a little bit higher. So the peak gusts will happen late afternoon, early evening, tapers off very quickly after sunset, but gusts in the Colorado River Valley closer to 45 miles per hour. So a windy day on Saturday, but it is nice that we get the break from the breeze a little bit for tomorrow. This is what's going on tonight. That high cloud cover being spread in by this weak front that's bringing in the breeze. But by the time it actually gets to us, too weak to bring any sort of impact in temperature. So we're back to a sunny sky and highs near 80 degrees tomorrow. Here's that next system that slides through on Saturday, but it moves very quickly. Again, it's dry by the time it gets here. It doesn't do much to temperature, but while the front is passing through, it's going to pick up the wind speed and then settle down just as quickly moving into Easter Sunday. Here's a look at tomorrow's lows. We'll fall to the 40s and 50s ahead of sunrise. Tomorrow's highs, fantastic. A little warmer than today. Puts us near 80 degrees under a mostly sunny sky. And although there's a light wind in the afternoon, it's not nearly as breezy as what we felt today. A fantastic end of the week and a beautiful start to Easter weekend.